So, we are finally done with our Connect Motion Capture series, and I'd like to share my thoughts on how well I think it performed in relation to how much it cost. So, let's break it down. What are the pros, and what are the cons? Let's start with the pros. It's affordable. If you are using Blender because it's free, then you also probably can't afford a couple hundred dollars on Vive, iPi, or even a suit. But you can probably find a used Connect for under 60 bucks. If you're a hobbyist who just wants to have fun and mess around with 3D animation, then that's really Really what Connect was for. If all you want to do is VTuber stuff or slice of life stuff, like posing, walking, talking, and waving your arms around, then Connect is a pretty fun way to dip your feet into the world of motion capture. Now, if you are not a hobbyist and you are very serious about doing 3D animation long term, then I highly recommend that you save up your money till you can afford a quality suit or a 10 point Vive or the lifetime version of iPi which combines two Connects. Because a single Connect's biggest drawback is that it can only capture animations a assuming that your body is facing the camera. If you want to record more dynamic animations with full body rotation, then one Kinect hardware is not for you. It was designed for games where the player is always facing the camera, and it does that fairly well, but it really wasn't designed for full body mocap. I think the most surprising thing for me was the lack of Microsoft support for a 3D artist. A lot of people talk about Kinect, and there's a lot of third party plugins, add-ons, filters, and softwares for Kinect. That is why after days of searching, I could not believe that Microsoft Connect Studio had no built-in feature to export the rig into 3D software. No .bvh, no Collada DAE, no FBX. Exporting animations from Microsoft just wasn't a thing. And the fact that an export feature does not exist out of the box really shows that Connect wasn't intentionally designed to be used by 3D artists. If anything, it was more like an afterthought. The only software that I found to get the animation directly from Microsoft Connect Studio into an export format was the one I showed you. And that wasn't even made by Microsoft. It was made by some random fantastic person. But here is the most depressing thing that I learned during my entire Kinect adventure. All of the drawbacks with Kinect disappear when you combine two Kinects together. One Kinect is not good enough for serious animation, but two Kinects definitely is. You can see here that just adding one more Kinect easily solves the full body motion capture problem. So technically, anyone who can afford purchasing two of these bad boys can have quality motion capture hardware for under 120 bucks, which is pretty amazing if you think about it. So the hardware is not the problem. The problem is that the only guy in the world who knows how to combine two connects charges you around 1300 bucks or around 500 a year to use it. Let that sink in for a second. The only reason that no one can have affordable motion capture is because no one is willing to figure out how to combine two connects for free. Like, seriously. That's the only thing we're missing. Microsoft never released an official way to combine two connects. And the one guy who figured it out charges you out the ass to do it. Like seriously, I refuse to believe that of all the Blender programmers out there, not one of them is smart enough to combine two connects. That is the only reason that all of us poor people can't afford decent full body rotation motion capture. So this is my deal to anyone who can figure out how to combine two connects together. If you make software that basically does what iPy does, for for free and I can get it to work on my machine, I will personally make a tutorial series promoting your software and show people how to use it. Hell, I'll even make a rig just for you. So if you guys figure anything out, let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, if you join me next video, we are going to be starting our high-end motion capture series with the goal of comparing single connect motion capture against a full body motion capture suit. So I hope you look forward to that. Please take a step back to appreciate all the fantastic names you see here on the screen. This connect mocap series was sponsored by the brave names you see here. If it wasn't for their continuous amazing support, this tutorial series would never have happened. If you enjoyed these tutorials and you'd like to see more, then uh, please consider joining the squad on Patreon to help us afford new software and hardware that you would like to see in future tutorials. Some of you probably know, my computer is slowly breaking down and I'm currently saving up for a new one, and a lot of that is going to depend on how much I can make on Patreon by the end of next month. The better my hardware, the better software I can test. But if you can't, as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.